In 1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Please be seated. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome you today to the commencement ceremonies for the Kansas State University Carl R. Ice College of Engineering. My name is Craig Wanklin, and I serve as an assistant dean in the College of Engineering. Commencement is an exciting time for the faculty and staff of Kansas State University. We all experience a sense of great satisfaction that these outstanding graduates are moving on to fulfill their professional goals onto exciting careers in the service of society in this state, this country, and the world. We are all enormously proud of them and have high expectations for their future. Before we start on our program today, I would like to make a few introductions. Please recognize our musicians, the Kansas State University Student Brass Quintet. Let me also recognize the members of the platform party and please hold your applause until the end. On my far right, your left, Dr. Mustak Hossein, Head of Civil Engineering. Dr. Keith Hone, Professor of Chemical Engineering. Dr. Joe Harner, Head of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. Professor Ray Buell, Head of Architectural Engineering and Construction Science and Management. Dr. Betty Grauer, Assistant Dean in the College of Engineering. Andrew Buell, Senior in Mechanical Engineering and our student vocalist for today. Wayne Harms, Retired Vice President of ExxonMobil and our commencement speaker for today. Dr. Darren Dawson, Dean of the College of Engineering. On my far left, your right, Dr. Bill Dunn, Head of Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering. Dr. Todd Easton, Associate Professor of Industrial and Manufacturing Systems Engineering. Dr. Scott Deloach, Head of Computer Science. Dr. Don Gruenbacher, Head of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Katherine Kellogg, Senior in Chemical Engineering and our student speaker for today. Dr. Charles Tabor, Provost and Executive Vice President of Kansas State University. Richard Myers, President of Kansas State University. Dr. Gary Clark, Senior Associate Dean of the College of Engineering. Our Marshals are Dr. Bailey Sullivan, Teaching Assistant Professor, and Andy Fund, Assistant Dean of the College of Engineering. Would all faculty members of the College of Engineering in attendance today at this ceremony please stand. Please recognize these individuals. I would like to call Andrew Buell, Senior in Mechanical Engineering, to sing our national anthem. Please stand.
Please be seated. The College of Engineering has enjoyed truly outstanding students over the years, and this class is no exception. All students who have survived the rigors of studies in our engineering, construction science, and computer science programs deserve recognition because they are very talented. This evening, I have the privilege of identifying a number of exceptional students for special recognition. We first recognize our summa cum laude graduates who have earned a 3.95 or higher cumulative GPA on a scale of 4.0. This semester we have 30. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Nicholas Ackley, Carlos Aguirre, Chase Brokey, Hayden Bryant, Nicole Duramachai, Eric Flett, Lindsay Hagman, Elizabeth Hall, Lynette Hardinger, Scott Hirsch, Daniel Isom, Lauren Johnson, William Lees, Jordan Martin, Kayla Mesh, Braden Mishner, Emily Nottingham, Kayla Paulson, Niles Peterson, Derek Potrant. Jose Ramos Hernandez, David Ronning, Jordan Roth, J Justin Smoots, Garrett Snyder, Zachary Stanley, Luke Stegman, Jacob Studer, Laurel Thompson, and Victoria Whitmore. Let's congratulate our summa cum laude graduates. Please be seated. Magna cum laude graduates are those graduates who have earned a 3.85 to a 3.949 cumulative GPA. This semester we have 47, and that's a lot. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Matthew Alvey, Raquel, Rachel, Raquel Anzalone, Nicholas Augustin, Rita Bedros, Harrison Basella, Kennedy Bowers, Michael Boland, Nathan Braylock, Matthew Brooks, James Brawls, Aubrey Butznick, Andrew Buell, Logan Coates, Cody Dees, Jordan Disberger, Regent Erickson, Thomas Fink, Julianne Francisa, Justin Friesen, Changao Gao, Isaac Giefer, James Gruby, Evan Hieronymus, Brett Hess, Derek Jurgensen, Kyle Johnson, Catherine Kellogg, Cole Klinkhammer, Jody Ladner, Ashton Lundy, Stephen Malone, Chase McCormick, Jonathan McHenry, Mackenzie Mice, Megan Niplock, Ryan Nordyke, Quentin Pease, Sarah Plum, Justo Santa Cruz Blanco, Braden Schroeder, Daniel Schrum, Jacob Speck, Joshua Strom, Ryan Strom, Terrilyn Walker, and Philip Wint. Let's congratulate our magna cum laude graduates. Please be seated. Cum laude graduates have earned from a 3.75 to a 3.849 cumulative GPA. This semester we have 34. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Evan Balthazar, Clint Barb, Calvin Bauer, Taylor Bechtel, 
Lozandro Benitez, Catherine Brown, Leif Carlson, Colton Churchill, Jeremy Clark, Tressa DeCat, Will Fair, Joe Hampton, Benjamin Hawkup, Derek Mahoney, Griffin Marion, Austin Medcalf, Reed Morgott, Ryan Oberreiter, Frederick Oxler, Joshua Patterson, Brett Philippe, John Riffergetzi, Maria Rogers, Thompson Ralston, Gilbert Schusler, Brian Seaman, Lane Sorrell, Jessica Stanton, Elijah Vanderpoel, Wyatt Vanderpoel, Jacob Victor, Berkeley White. Let's congratulate our cum laude graduates. Please be seated. I must recognize one more important group before we move on to the rest of the program. Graduates, you see around you many people who have helped you, supported you, and encouraged you over the time that you have pursued your degrees. These supporters include your parents, spouses, and children, your entire families, and your friends. Graduates, please stand. Please stand. And join me in giving your loved ones a big and well-deserved round of applause. Please be seated. At this time, Katherine Kellogg, senior in chemical engineering, will present the challenge to the graduating class. Katherine? You want to push this down right here? Yeah. That's it. Good evening, everyone. I would like to start by echoing Dean Dawson in thanking all of the friends and family who are gathered here, as well as all of the advisors and professors in attendance. Your support and guidance over the last four years has been much appreciated and instrumental in making sure that everyone got to this day. I was very honored when Dean Fund offered me the opportunity to speak here today, though as I sat down and tried to decide what I was actually going to say, I did feel decidedly less honored about it. What I ended up thinking about was when I arrived here for orientation four years ago, along with many of you. Dean Clark came into a room with many of us, told us to look to our right, then looked to our left, and then told us that, statistically, only one in three people would graduate with their intended degree. I can't speak for the other departments, but I know for chemical engineering, this is held fairly true. Our intro to chemi class four years ago had around 140 students. Today, there are a little over 50 graduating. At some point over the last couple of years, all of us looked at the College of Engineering and decided to take on one of the most difficult undergraduate programs to earn a degree from. And today we've accomplished that. We have survived times where it seemed like there were more tests than there were days of the week, lab reports that were never ever going to end, and a couple of really inconvenient grading curves. But no matter how impossible it seemed at the time, we all made it through. And that's something that everyone here should be very proud of. But as we celebrate that accomplishment, I think it's equally important to keep in, keep in mind everything that we have accomplished outside of the classroom. This year alone, our class has led Cyber Defense Club, Chemicar, Wildcat Wind Power, Fountain Wars, Quarter Scale Tractor, and Steel Bridge teams to wins at regional and national competitions. We have completely restructured Engineering Student Council. Students from our class have led the campus-wide governing body had a hand in research breakthroughs from every department in engineering, as well as many outside of our college, and participated in everything from those engineering competitions to fencing tournaments to a couple of swing dancing showdowns. And even if some of those things seem small or unrelated to what we're celebrating here today, every single one of them has helped to shape and define the community here at K-State and in the College of Engineering while we've been here. Through these things, we have had an impact on our college, one that goes far beyond what any test, homework, or pop quiz score could ever represent. 
And I don't know what we will all do when we leave campus today, and I don't believe that anyone can truly predict that, but I do know what we've managed over the last couple of years. And after all, if we can accomplish all of that while pursuing an engineering degree, imagine what we can do when we actually get the weekends off. So the challenge I wish to present to you is to be proud of everything that you have managed over the last couple of years. Every late night studying and every subsequent late night celebrating, every academic success along with every personal one. The technical things we've learned here are going to make us good at our jobs and help us grow as engineers. And everything else is gonna help us grow as people and help us define the communities that we're about to move into just like we have here. So I wanna wish everyone the best of luck Thank you for listening, and congratulations, Spring 2019 graduates. We made it. Thank you, Catherine. Great job. We are here this evening to bestow degrees on the candidates. We are also here to give you one last message and send you out in the world. And the best way to give you that one last message and send you out into the world is to hear from someone that's been right there in your shoes. Someone that's already been out in the world in a big way. And that's our commencement speaker tonight, Wayne Harms. Wayne has serious street credibility. He obtained a bachelor's of science in chemical engineering in 1976 from K-State and traveled from Connecticut to be here with us today, where he and his wife, Barbara, also a K-State graduate, live in an historic area along the Connecticut River waterfront. Immediately after graduation, Wayne went to work for the Exxon Corporation in New Orleans where he used his training in chemical engineering to build Exxon's cryogenic processing plants. He conducted business across the globe for many years and along the way he accumulated millions of airline miles and hundreds of stories. Indeed, Wayne built an impressive, impressive career with ExxonMobil and retired years later as a vice president at the company's headquarters in Houston. But, in spite of all his vast career accomplishments, Wayne would tell you that he never imagined himself up here speaking to you today, because that's just the way he is. And, in spite of all his personal and professional obligations, Wayne has remained a lifelong wildcat. This fact is exemplified by Wayne's service as past chairman of the Engineering Advisory Council and his induction into the Engineering Hall of Fame. Engineers and scientists, join me in welcoming one of our own, Wayne Harms. Where's your script? Oh, you got it. I got it. Well, you made it. Congratulations. Do you feel good? I know. Do you really feel good? All right. Today, I'd like to talk to you about technology, the future, and change. But first, at home, I have an Amazon Echo. It's an amazing uh, little device that's hooked to the internet, and I'm sure you're familiar with them. You can converse with her. Oh, by the way, her name is Alexa. And I'm a new grandparent, and recently, my five-year-old grandson came to visit, and I showed him how to use uh, Alexa. For the next couple of days, that's all he did. He sang songs, he played games, he told jokes, all with Alexa. She makes a great playmate. But, but after he left, I remembered that you shouldn't teach little kids bad words, and I had taught him Alexa. You see, you can use Alexa to order stuff directly from Amazon. And I found he just signed me up for Amazon Music, bought Lego kits and gummy bears. And all because I taught him that silly little word, Alexa. Technology and people, aren't they amazing? Along those lines, today I'd like to share with you some glimpses about your future. As an engineer, you will be on the cutting edge of the future, changing the world for better. The world and humanity that it hosts will need you, not just for your sake, but for your future kids and your future grandkids' sakes. That's a big responsibility. So what about the future? In your lifetime, there will be many changes. 
These changes will be incremental, and they will not seem dramatic day to day. But if you look back 10 or 20 years, you'll see their huge impact. I've consulted that all-knowing entity, Mr. Google, and his friend Ted Talks, and various other futurists to sketch out some areas of change. For example, one day, you will not have to drive a car. You probably won't even own a car. You probably will have a few robotic machines in your living space to ease your life. AI will be prevalent in ways we haven't even thought of today. It'll be in medicine, financial markets, news outlets, education, manufacturing and design, just to name a few. Nanotechnology could be utilized to create new materials and applications. Climate changes will affect the world we live in. We don't know what people will do for a living. We don't know how armies and bureaucracies will function. And we don't know what gender relations will be like. Some people will probably live much longer than today. And, human, and the human body itself might undergo an unprecedented revolution thanks to bioengineering and direct brain computer interfaces. Um, many people think that unlocking the secrets of the brain and tying it to computing power will create the next age of human evolution. Imagine knowing the, impa the impact of knowing yourself and your emotions and augmenting your thinking power with the larger data world out there. The opportunity here is enormous, but so is the danger. Will there be any privacy again? Because if you can know those things, so can others. Wow, good luck. But I really don't want to try to paint that picture any clearer. It's too murky with many different pathways. For you, I think it's more important to talk about what won't change. I think that picture can be pretty clear, as it's been for hundreds of years. Why, I believe it was even true as far back as when President Myers was sitting in your chair. Your, your degree from KSU has prepared, prepared you well for the future. You've worked hard to get here. And you know what? You're going to have to work harder in the future to succeed. The first thing that won't change is people. More than likely, most engineers aren't exactly the most extroverted bunch of friends that you have. You will now and forever have to deal with people in your careers and lives. You'll have to talk to them, work with them, persuade them, laugh with them, love them, collaborate with them, and lead them. You just can't get away from it, even in the future world I outlined. So learning and improving your people skills will be essential. People will not go away. Next, creativity. This is one thing you have as engineers that's probably ingrained in your DNA, to be creative and solve problems that exist or solutions for things that we don't even know about. This is exciting, to be able to peer around corners and see things others can't. Keep honing that skill and use it a lot. The more you use it, the better you'll get. The world is counting on your creativity to make our lives better. Creativity will not go away. Finally, accountability. I hate to tell you this, but you will always have a boss. If not a boss, then major stakeholders who will care about what you do. I've talked to some of the folks in the KSU Business College and they're convinced that's going to be their role in life, to be your boss. But I challenge you not to let that happen. You be their boss because I know you can. In some form or fashion, you'll also have to participate in society. 
trust, ethics, and good judgment are skills that are sometimes lacking, especially in today's Washington, D.C. Beltway, but I know you have it. Working together with smart people in a, a trusting environment is one of the most rewarding experiences you can have. Accountability to society and others will not go away. So in conclusion, embrace the changes that are coming your way. Remember those things that will not change, the need to work with people, your creativity, your accountability and integrity. Thank you very much and go Cats! Thank you so much, Wayne. Here's a small token of our appreciation. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Amy Button Rents, President and CEO of the K State Alumni Foundation. Amy? Thank you, Dean Dawson. And it's a small world because Wayne and I went to high school together and also graduated the same year. So, excellent speech. I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association, representing over 280,000 graduates and friends who will be your lifelong K-State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are excited to celebrate with you and your family. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater as you begin this new chapter as a K-State graduate. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I would like to share three of the core values that guide us in our mission to help you keep you connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, and internationally. Another value is tradition. You all likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. You may also have fond memories of doing the Wabash at a K-State sporting event or rubbing the nose of the bronze Wildcat statue at the Alumni Center for good luck on a test or to ensure a Wildcat victory. As the keepers of tradition, we also hope you will have a chance to visit the Alumni Center to experience all of the wonderful traditions kept there including our newest addition, a stained glass mural, mural designed by 2016 graduate Marcus Gilbert, which pays tribute to the beauty of our state and the K-State campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. When you see someone wearing purple or a K-State class ring or sporting a K-State license plate, you will feel that same sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the Carl R. Ice College of Engineering and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary membership to the Alumni Association for one year. We hope that you will enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member after your first year. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, our membership ranks in the top five in the nation and number one in the Big 12 for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you today with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to stay in touch with us and keep everything updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations, class of 2019, and go Cats. Thank you, Amy. We will now have the presentation of graduates in conferral of degrees. Each department head, as introduced before, will present the degree candidates from their respective department. The audience should feel free to applaud candidates as they are recognized. Good job, Wayne.
Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Architectural Engineering and the Bachelor of Science in Construction Science and Management please rise? Will faculty members Shannon Casebeer, Jim Goddard, and Jung Shil Song please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with its distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in architectural engineering, Yasin Abbas. Lulua Alfaderi. <laughs> Mohammed Alfaderi. <laughs> Nicholas Claire Augustin, magna cum laude. Nicholas J. Barron. Jeffrey Paul Bogner. <laughs> James Powell Carmen. Cordell Lee Collins. Bailey Marie Decker. Shelby Dragu. Austin Wesley Eck. Jace Holden Freeman. Colton Jarek Fuller. Antonio Montalongo Garcia. Isaac Gerard Giefer, magna cum laude. Kristen Kelly Graves. Christine Marie Green. Logan Rayner Grieve. Anusha Masarika. Shin Huang. Kyle Maxwell Johnson, magna cum laude. Nolan Joseph Kermer. Eric Alexander Clay. Ryan Gregory Keek. Brian K. Martin. Brianna Rochelle Mertens. Eduardo Moran Puentes. Sarah K. Newstrom. Zachary Wade Norton. Brianne McKenzie Penrod. Daisy Grace Ralston. Jose Alberto Ramos Hernandez, summa cum laude. Maria Faith Rogers, cum laude. Anna Grace Salvatorelli. Ethan John Schmitz. Brian Keith Seaman, cum laude. Christopher Nathan Sharp. Jacob Kenneth Sola. Truman Joseph Steen. Claire Lorraine Swope. Tyler Christopher Thayer. Daniel Alexander Trachniak. Jonathan Velasquez. Christian Angel Viz Vizdaino. Cody Levi Watson. Russell E. White, Jr. Kyle Douglas Weathorn. Jessica Lee Woody. Maribeth Wothy.
let's congratulate our architectural engineering graduates. With degrees in construction science and management, Abwanga Abwanga. Spencer Matthew Adam. Tyler Ross Albrecht. Max Robert Ayoti. Hannah Marie Bartle. Seth Paul Blaha. Lance Dennis Caldwell. Brian Lee Carpenter. Matthew Patrick Dean. Drew Jacob Dieters. Darian Elizabeth Estep. Trenton Timothy Flagler. Jacob Michael Fleming. Justin Dean Friesen, magna cum laude. John Taylor Hass. Benjamin Leo Hawkup, cum laude. Alex Martin Howard. Samuel Thomas Howell. Tanner Michael Hughes. Allison Nicole Lancaster. John Anthony Lee. Mingdi Lee. Samuel David MacArthur. Ethan John Myers. Timothy Alexander Miller. Jack Newlin. Ryan Dean Nordyke, magna cum laude. William John Purpura. Zachary Joseph Queen. Alexandro Rascon. Trevor Kenneth Scheiman. William Malin Scott III. Zachary Michael Serrano. Syed Abbas Shabir. Karen Thalia Salerio. Jacob Lyle Specht, magna cum laude. Let's congratulate our construction science and management graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Biological Systems Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Stacy Hutchinson, Alexei Sheshikov, and Lisa Wilkin please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in Biological Systems Engineering, Cheyenne Nicole Butler, Jody May Emery, Colin Kyle Ford, Theodore David Gillespie, Lucas Wayne Goss, Sophia Marie Grothy, Chaching Gua, Patrick Teti Guvala, 
Lauren Elizabeth Johnson, summa cum laude. Lauren Nicole Mansfield. Braden Dean Mishler, summa cum laude. Evan Ronnie Lee Moracle. Emily Rose Nottingham, summa cum laude. Justin Lynn Smuts, summa cum laude. Timothy Lawrence Sheridan. Jessica Jane Stanton, cum laude. Elijah Alexander Vanderpol, cum laude. Luke Lawrence Murray Wetter. Berkeley Paige White, cum laude. Brianna Marie White. Let's congratulate our biological systems engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelors of Science in Chemical Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Plaza Samama, Andrew Duncan, Bin Liu, Juan Min Park, and John Schloop please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. with degrees in chemical engineering. Nicholas Carl Ackley, summa cum laude. Matthew West Alvey, magna cum laude. Evan Arthur Balthazar, cum laude. Clint A. Barb, cum laude. Stephen Friedrich Bartels, Rita Imad Bedrose, magna cum laude. Amanda K. Church Bell. Dean Russell Bennett. Jacob Dalton Burnett. Harrison Keach Biasella, magna cum laude. Cassidy Nicole Booth. Nathan Andrew Brainock, magna cum laude. Matthew Joseph Brooks, magna cum laude. Isabella Ray Cesaroni. Megan Ann Clapp. Thomas Davis. Tressa Ray Deckett, cum laude. Luke Thomas Dresbach. Camden August Drogi. Edgar Rafael Duarte. Adrian Paul Herzog Fink. Jack Allen Gerhold. Monica Lee Goldberg. Logan Alexander Green. Thomas R. Harrington. Joseph. Daniel Hewitt. Catherine Elizabeth Kellogg, magna cum laude. Matthew Wayne Lambert. Yang Lee. 
Phong Sing Lau. Jesus Loera. Ashton Heath Lunday, Magna Cum Laude. Jagjeet Paul Mulhi. Gregory Patrick Malone. Mackenzie Christine Mice, Magna Cum Laude. Mark Layden Neal. Megan Marie Niblock, Magna Cum Laude. Justin Allen Patrick. Sarah Nicole Plum, Magna Cum Laude. Janine Ann Redden. Bailey Lynn Ricewig. David Eric Ronning, Summa Cum Laude. Luke Kendall Sells. Kyle Raymond Stern. Peter Eugene Tyler. Terrilyn J. Walker, Magna Cum Laude. Victoria May Whitmore, Summa Cum Laude. Christian Wilcut. Chen Zhao Ya. Boshi Zhao. Let's congratulate our chemical engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Eric Fitzsimmons, Krishna Gimar, Haider Rashid, and Scott Sheep please rise to greet the candidates? Uh, Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in civil engineering, Mohammed Al Khalaf. Lisandro Maria Benitez Florentin, cum laude. Peter Ignatius Brown. Aubrey Marie Buznitz, magna cum laude. Corbin Lynn Kofelt. William Toronto Crady. Jacob Carl Kroll. Matthew Wayne Elder. Kevin Jose Escobar. Will David Fair Cum Laude. Aaron Robert Florian. Christopher James Francis. Lyle Christian Grayson. Evan Joseph Aronimus, magna cum laude. Nathan Alexander Hittle. Anthony Michael Homan. Molly Lauren Kaler. Mamadi Konati. Grant A. Lyons. Kevin William McKinney. George Walter Miller. John Allen Noctegall. 
Joshua Mark Peterson. Kirk Benjamin Fonnensteel. Garrett Robert Peeper. Matthew William Rockwell. Macy Lynette Romer. Morgan Alexander Stahl. Colton Reed Steele. Kirk Christian Stewart. Jacob Henry Studer Stuma Cum Laude. Cody J. Vandeverd. David Scott Vogel. Chase Dustin Warner. Dakota Daniel Weaver. Amy Elizabeth Wagner. August Zuno the third. Let's congratulate our civil engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Dwight Day, Sanjoy Das, Hong Yu Wu, and David Thompson please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in computer engineering, Tyler Patrick Carolyn, Thomas Lloyd Fink, magna cum laude, Brennan Alexander Foos, Quinter Hartshorn. Jesse Lee Hill the third. Scott Matthew Hirsch, summa cum laude. Daniel James Isom, summa cum laude. Kevin Robert Kellerman. William Arthur Lease, summa cum laude. Griffin Thomas Marion, cum laude. Chase Alexander McCormick, magna cum laude. Tyler Jeffrey Stock. Let's congratulate our computer engineering graduates. With degrees in electrical engineering, Ahmed Arasasi, Hassan Salah Althuwani, Austin Michael Anderson, Dane Michael Anderson, Nicholas James Bomberger. Rory L. Adam Bowl. James Michael Broyles, magna cum laude. Eric Dean Burling. Adam Martin Clausen. 
Cody Arad Dees Magna Cum Laude. Jordan Connell Disberger Magna Cum Laude. Miranda Lee Dodson. Eric Thomas Flett Summa Cum Laude. Matthew James Keenan. Bo Edgar Lindstrom. Jacob Andrew Long. Timothy Ian McCormick. Mark William Quaney. Daniel William Shum, Ring Shum. Daniel Shum, diploma presented by his father, Dr. Walter Shum, professor in the School of Family Studies and Human Services. Magna cum laude. Zachary Jordan Sleppy. Casey Michelle Stuckey. Emma Marie Ulrich. Mark Edward Vitt. Jen Jong. Let's congratulate our electrical engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and the Bachelor of Science in Information Systems please rise? Will faculty members Nathan Bean, Masaki Mizuno, Rodney Howell, and Bill Shu please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in computer science, Carlos Alejandro Aguirre, summa cum laude. Ahmed Bassam Alcrazy. Reed L. Anderson. Brianne Marie Anschutz. Calvin Lee Bauer, cum laude. Daniel James Bell. James William Burke. Joseph Anthony Booty. Kennedy Ann Bowers, magna cum laude. Alexander Dwayne Bro. Nathaniel A. Burr. Jeffrey James Kane. Juliet Marie Corpstein. Nicholas Edward Davies. Maria Fernanda De La Torre Romo. Lauren Pauline Dumler. Austin Taylor Fuller. Hunter Wayne Guthrie. Joe Hampton Kamadi. Lynette Wolf Hardinger, summa cum laude. Matthew George Heffel. Chance Michael Henny.
Peyton Christine Jellison, Anastasia Nicole King, Cole Anthony Ray Klinkhammer, Magna Cum Laude, Dakota James Lang, Stephen Joseph Malone, Magna Cum Laude, Catherine Mansfield, Jordan Patrick Martin, Summa Cum Laude, Zachary J. Martin, Jonathan Michael McHenry, Magna Cum Laude, Juan Eugene Moore, Ashley Elizabeth Morton, Samuel Quincy Moylan, Joshua Lee Patterson, Cum Laude, Nils John Peterson, Summa Cum Laude, Derek Levi Zachariah Pockrant, Summa Cum Laude, John Robert Refrigetti, Cum Laude, Thomas Warren Ralston, Cum Laude, Jordan Thomas Roth, Summa Cum Laude, Braden Robert Schroeder, Magna Cum Laude, Mary Patricia Siebert, Mitchell Dale Slavens, Albert A.J. Snow, Lane Philip Sorrell, Cum Laude, Peyton James Trosclair, Jeremy Connor Tryon, Alec Joseph Turnbull, William Ryan Van Cleve, Jared Mark Vincent, Ryan Lowell Walker, Desmond Jacarl Weathers, Andrew Philip Weber, Joseph E. Webster, Matthew James Weiss, Philip Alexander Went, Magna Cum Laude, Cody J. Wilhelm. Joshua Allen Zavala. Younglun Jong. Let's congratulate our computer science graduates. With degrees in information systems, Alexander Nikolovich Dubrovsky. Elizabeth Lockwood Hall, summa cum laude. Austin Michael Metcalf, cum laude. Ian James Riley. Natalie Marie Schmidt. Dalton Mitchell Schneiders. Let's congratulate our information systems graduates.
Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Ashesh Sinha and Jessica Heierstam please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in industrial engineering, Munther Othman Zuhair Al Kurdi. Hassan Adel Alzer. David James Beckley. Laura Kathleen Burkamp. Chase James Brocky Summa Cum Laude. Austin Tyler Clark. Dawson William Colglazer. Brett Allen Cook. Gretchen Ray Cummings. Adeline Dowling. Julianne Alvenda Francia, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Paul Garrison. Edward Michael Genovese. Eric David Gessler. Joseph Michael Gorthy. Lindsay Nicole Hageman, summa cum laude. Rachel Rose Cam. Nathaniel Paul Colonel. Jordan Nicole Keel. Jacob Hansen Krauss. Derek Benjamin Mahoney, cum laude. Derek Joseph Meyer. Ali Mohammed. Reed William Morkart, cum laude. Kathy and Dealey. Kayla Brooke Paulson, summa cum laude. Brett Allen Filippi, cum laude. Justo Jose Santa Cruz Blanca, magna cum laude. Zachary Chad Stanley, summa cum laude. Eric Anthony Steppen. Nathaniel Clark Trapp. Madeline Mary Triggs. Matthew Ryan Terzak. Wyatt Lane Vanderpoel, cum laude. Rachel Elizabeth Walker. Let's congratulate our industrial engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Terry Beck, Byron Jones, and Kevin Wanklin please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in mechanical engineering, Abdulrahman Aldakil. Fussel Ahmed Algandi. Mohammed Saad. Alzorani, 
Adam Jeffrey Andrews. Nicholas Alexander Beatty. Tyler Ryan Bechtel Kumlad. Colin Robert Becker. Gabrielle Ann Bybee. Henry John Binns. Michael Joseph Boylan, magna cum laude. Tyler James Brunton. Hayden Robert Bryant, summa cum laude. Andrew James Buell, diploma presented by his uncle, Ray Buell, associate professor and department head, architectural engineering and construction science. Jacob William Caldwell. Leif Emery Carlson, cum laude. Charles Thomas Chaffin. Jeremiah George Neff Clark, cum laude. Logan Daniel Coates, magna cum laude. Glenn Charles Kaufman. Evan William Curl. Nicole Brooke Duramaji, summa cum laude. Josiah Daniel Dowding. Travis Robert Eklund. Ryan David Emmy. Kobe Cruz Engel. Regent Worth Erickson, magna cum laude. Cole Edward Fincham. Victoria Grace Fowler. Brian Christopher Furdeck. Marcus Andrew Gamel. Chungyao Gao, magna cum laude. David Andrew Goodwin. Christopher Dale Graves. James Patrick Gruby, Jr., magna cum laude. Joseph Connard Haas. Jeffrey Thomas Hall. Christian Rock Hansen. Tanner Patrick Harpenau. Riley Levi Henny. Brent William Hess, magna cum laude. Patrick John Hodson. Colin Wade January. Colton Brett Jenkins. Mitchell Anthony Johnson. Taylor Nicholas Jones. Luke Ryan Juarez. Bradley James Kaler. Tyler Matthew Katz. Avery Jason Kaustinen. James T. Kelty. Stuart Matthew Kern. Austin Colin Cook. David Benjamin Kriegbaum. 
Holly Lawrence Cucci. Joseph John Lorenzen. Rachel Manneth. Colin Michael Martin. Kenneth O'Neill McLeod. Nathan Thomas Meisenberg. Joshua David Moyer. Andrew Todd Nelson. Blake Patrick Newell. Brian Joseph Newmaster. Ryan Michael Overrider Cum Laude. Jacob Daniel Ockerhausen Cum Laude. Frederick Wilson Oxler Cum Laude. Neil Anil Patel. Quentin Vashni Pease, magna cum laude. Donald Dwayne Pellin. David Frederick Pullen. Aubrey Elizabeth Regal. Eric Michael Rimmer. Alexi Rojas. Destiny Louise Rollins Mesta. Daniel Lee Rowland. Garrett Charles Schneider, summa cum laude. Dalton Joseph Schoen. Adam Lee Scott. William Daniel Selly. Luke A. Stegeman, summa cum laude. Garrett Dean Staus. Kyle Brandon Swift. Cherian Doppel Joshua. Blake Allen Trailer. Matthew Joshua Walburn. Michael Anthony Wilbert. Paul William Wilson. Cameron James Winter. Aaron Robert Zimpfer. Abdurrahman Omar O. Zubair. Let's congratulate our mechanical engineering graduates.
Graduates, please rise. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of all degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respected degrees that you have earned at Kansas State University. You may move your tassel from the right to the left. I'd like to call Andrew Buell back to the podium to lead us in the K-State alma mater. The words can be found on page three of your program. Would everyone except our graduates please be seated. <laughs> graduates, we know you're anxious to meet your family and friends. There's a couple additional things. One, each of you has a specific alumni sticker from the College of Engineering. And second, we take one large group photo of our graduating class. So everyone gets together in the middle. It's become a tradition. You can use the aisle, too. You should time how long they should go right up front. I know. Ask Darren if you want to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you can go back to your seats. <laughs> Graduates, on behalf of the Carl R. Ice College of Engineering, congratulations on your well-earned achievements and officially becoming a K-State engineer. We would ask all guests to please remain seated and do not exit until the recessional is complete. Thank you for coming and have a very great evening. <laughs>